Hi, I'm Nola, a nurse with the Medical Reserve Corps in Kansas City. Welcome to the training for volunteers in disaster shelters. This episode is about using a patient lift. A patient lifter is used to transfer individuals who are unable to assist from a bed to a chair and back to bed. This is the lifter used for this demonstration. At the top is the arm that supports the cradle. The sling will loop onto this cradle. This is called the hydraulic pump and will allow you to elevate the individual. The valve located at the bottom of the pump needs to be turned to the right or clockwise in order to create a seal. Once you have turned it to the right, take the handle and pump up and down to raise the cradle. When you are ready to lower the cradle, simply turn the valve to the left or counterclockwise. This needs to be done slowly so that it does not drop too quickly. The base of the lifter is designed to allow you to spread the legs of the lifter by turning the handle on the base. This is important to provide stability and keep the lifter from tipping. This is the sling that will be placed under the individual and then attached to the cradle. Note that there are three color-coded loops on the flaps. Be sure to note the colors when you are using it on the individual. Explain to the individual that you are going to get them up oh, to a chair. Be getting up in the chair today. Okay. Roll the individual onto their side facing away from you. Place the sling folded lengthwise halfway under the individual so the cutout is just above the tailbone. Place the long tail stretching out towards the knees. Roll the individual back towards you. Pull the folded remainder of the sling out from the far side. Bring the tail next to the right leg under the thigh and bring it up between the legs. Repeat the process on the left leg so that both tails are now located between the legs. Move the lifter into position with the cradle bar positioned directly over the individual's chest. Move the arm of the lift to spread the legs of the lift wider for more stability. Take the loops on either side of the top of the sling and hook them to the cradle. Note the color of the loops and use the same color loops for all straps. Take the tail that is under the right leg up and across the person's body and hook the loop to the cradle on the left side. There are four loops on the tail, color coded black, purple, green, and blue. Make a note of which color you are using to hook to the cradle. Take the tail from the left leg and cross it over and hook the loop to the right side of the cradle. Be sure to use the same color loop as you did for the right leg. This will give you a finished look of an X. The individual can cross their arms across their chest for the transfer. Close the valve on the hydraulic pump of the lift by turning the lever clockwise and use a pumping motion on the handle to gradually lift the individual off of the bed. Once the individual is totally suspended, carefully back the lift out and roll it toward the chair. The chair should fit between the legs of the lift. After the individual is positioned over the chair, slowly turn the valve to the left and lower the individual to the chair. Help to guide the individual into a good upright position as their weight is being lowered. Detach the loops from the cradle and let the tails rest in the person's lap. Move the lifter away. Ask for assistance from the nurse in charge if needed. <laughs>